Twitch pulls new feature after it was used to push porn onto the front page. Yikes. Yikes. Uh, so we talked about the boost train. So here's the little history. You guys know what hype trains are and you guys know about the boost system. Um, uh, maybe you don't, you might not. Basically Twitch created a feature, um, where you could, um, a community could use channel points to boost the stream during like a special period of time. And if you com successfully completed the boost, then that channel would get a certain amount of additional hits um, on the, you know, the front page, like one of those um, like recommended um, categories. Your stream is still being boost boosted. I don't know what's happening. Maybe they're trying to make the boost better and experimenting with it. And they're using me as a guinea pig. And, you know, that's fine. I'm not going to complain. Um, <laughs> so. They did this with channel points and of course the natural progression is to monetize it. So then they went for a paid to boost system where instead of using channel points, you would pay. The viewers would pay. Let me, let me get this straight. The viewers would pay and people got really pissed about this because it was predatory. Um, and my biggest complaint about it was the fact that the boost with channel points hasn't been proven to be effective or useful or accurate, you know, in any way. And so why jump to asking people to pay for a system that has a lot of major bugs? For me, one of the most common bugs that I've experienced personally with, with the channel point boost is the fact that a boost will happen when I'm not live. It'll happen on like a Saturday or a Sunday when I haven't even been streaming and then when you do unlock the boost, it happens the next time you're live, except it happens immediately when you go live. So for any streamer, for most streamers, that's what that's during your intro, right? That's during your, you're running an intro. So your, your, your boost of visibility happens when you're not even like actually there or engaging, you're running your intro and it just is not, it's not great in the way that it's done. I personally, um, you know, wouldn't have a problem with a pay to boost system if the feature itself what had data behind it to show that it was beneficial, that it led to actual genuine growth and, and uh, like the right people getting connected to the streamer, right? Discoverability, like a really good algorithm. If it was shown to be really beneficial and it worked well, it worked how it should, people had a good experience with it. You know, but I think like it, it was, it's, it's been tested in such a limited capacity that like, I just can't even see the justification of paying for it. And, um, you know, I think having the option for the streamer to pay for it in some way, I think would be helpful. Um, So Twitch has been testing what they call now a boost train. So they, they got rid of the pay to boost thing and they rebranded it as a hype train, but for, for boosts. So viewers still pay money, but now it looks like a hype train, right? Um, it's still, you're still paying to boost the stream. And of course, um, that got abused in the worst way possible. And um channels were showing porn a feature on twitch that allowed streamers to pay their way to the front page has now been temporarily removed after users were using it to push porn streams to the top as reported by pc gamer these paid porn stream boosts were noticed by the likes of the noosh 22 when they saw a feature uh they saw a stream featuring a topless woman that touted it was promoted by the community while that particular user was banned pretty quickly, others were also abusing the feature and Twitch decided it was time to pull the plug on it, at least for now. These paid boosts were first announced in October 2021 and were an evolution of the boost the stream feature from December 2020 that pushed streamers to more visible spaces if they were to complete community challenges. Paid boosts are similar, but this time the boosting was done by using real money. Looks like determined trolls are literally paying for accounts with access to the boost train and then literally creating hype trains to get porn to the front page. 
There is no word as to when or if these paid boosts will come back. Um, there was, I thought there was a screenshot that was like blurred out. Maybe they removed it, but, um, I'd only, I'd only be able to show you like a blurred out screenshot because it was, um, basically Noosh tweeted it. It was like, it was boobs. I mean, you know, I can't show boobs on Twitch. Can't show the boobs on Twitch. Um, how about an automatic front page lottery chance if normal sub train reaches somewhere between level six and 10 if those are, if those are allowed? Mm, that'd be interesting. Well, I mean, that's, so that's basically what the idea of the boost train is, Jimby. Can't, are you sure? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. And so, you know, I'm not gonna get into a full deep um, uh, rant about this, like I said, um, but I will just touch on the fact that, and I've said this before, but we have a lot of new people here today. Um, the concept of like paying to boost, it, that's advertising, right? And it's not something that I'm against. People pay to boost their tweets and they boot, pay to boost their product and their company and their website and their, you know, Facebook. So it's not like a bad concept. The problem is, well, first of all, when it has big flaws like this, you know, a pair of big flaws um, that, you know, are, you can just see them so clearly. I mean, I could see them. I mean, that was, it was very obvious. Um, so I don't know how Twitch can't see them, but, um, you know, the fact that, you, like, it was getting abused so easily. And, um, again, how it just, like, it didn't work properly, just in its, like, most inherent form. um that that's so that's one aspect and the other aspect is the fact that discoverability on twitch is just so bad um it's really really and it's just such a bad place it's one of the worst platforms i think for discoverability and um so it's kind of like offensive to have them monetize discoverability when they're Discovery literally doesn't work in general. Like, I don't know why people would want to pay for that. Like, that doesn't, as an advertiser, right? As someone who wants to advertise, like, you want to pay to advertise your stream, that's not a good investment. Like, if I don't know, I'm going to get the right people. If I don't know what kind of impact it's going to have. Um, and if I don't, if I don't feel satisfied with the platform in the way that people can find my stream naturally, I just don't see why I would want to pay for that. So... I mean, I think that's like a pretty straightforward, like, you know, business way of thinking, which is Twitch loves to think of things and, you know, big corporate business words and structures. So most people have their streamers and they go there and don't even look at the front page. Yeah, definitely. Pay for something that doesn't work. Win, win. <laughs> I unfortunately didn't see those two big flaws. I agree with that, Loco. There's too much barriers to discoverability and is skewed towards the larger streamers too much already. The system does nothing to address that, yeah. Last time I looked at the front page was when Loco was on it. I thought they disabled it, but your stream is boosted. I don't know what the hell's going on, Silver. I, you think that Twitch t tells me? These things, you think Twitch is telling me what's happening, right? I don't know what's going on. All right. <gasps> yeah, Dan. Dan made our animated uh, solar stream banner. And you got to see it in action. I'm so happy. Yeah, I've been working with Gregel to um, get it working uh, and, and uh, communicating with my other alerts. So how does Twitch not keep their CEO streaming in loop? I know, right? Oh, um, speaking of Twitch. I'm gonna see if this tweet still exists. Okay, this is amazing. This is so funny. Okay, so Emma Shear is the CEO of Twitch, okay? And he tweeted this last week, and I don't know, you know, I, I'll just read it for you, okay? How about that? Let me just zoom in and read it for you guys. This is the CEO of Twitch. Have you ever thought about how to a horse 
the world is basically Candyland? Like, they're wandering down a trail and boom, there's just some thistles. And then to the left, a delicious tree. There's just food all over the ground everywhere. Horses seem pretty excited about it. And then tweeted um, the, the board of Candyland. Um, I want what he's having. I mean, he, he probably makes some big bucks being CEO of Twitch. Not really doing anything to serve the community. Um, but, you know, I don't know. On something, talking about horses being in Candyland. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what i'm gonna say this should be our new copy pasta okay i'm gonna throw this in twitch chat and i think that we should turn this into a copy pasta um we need some emotes to go with it maybe like to break up the sentences but man that this is so poetic you know you gotta love it you gotta love it <laughs> uh Thank you, chat. Oh, uh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> I've never thought about how to a horse. The world is basically Candyland. <laughs> I will say Candyland is an awesome game. I loved playing Candyland as a kid. Like, so, so, so it's just, I love this game. I could not play this game enough. Amazing. Amazing. Great game. <laughs> 